Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I'm so happy to see you here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a Twitch streamer. I'm a cat's mom. I'm a world traveler. I'm a former volleyball player. I'm a current crossfitter. I'm a weeb. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. And I love learning new things. And the entire purpose of my channel is for me to broaden my horizons in the realm of music and listen to songs, bands, and artists I've never heard before. And so today we are diving into a new band for me called Super Tramp, and we're listening to a song called School. Again, I have have never heard of Super Tramp or listened to any of their songs before, but I'm really, really excited to see what they are all about and what this song has in store for me today. So just a little disclaimer before we begin, I do not have a musical background. So if I say something that is musically incorrect, please feel free to correct me in the comments, but also please be nice. I am learning and you guys have been the best senseis I could have ever asked for on this journey. And remember guys, if you like my content, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps growing content creators like me. So without further ado, let's get to the reaction. Alrighty, Super Tramp School. Let's get started. I love his harmonica. I can see you in the morning when you go to school. Don't forget your books, you know you gotta learn the gold. Teacher tells you stop your playing, get on with your work And be like Johnny too good Don't you know he never sure hurts He's coming along Ooh. Like it. Okay, before we get into the next part, I will go back 10 seconds so we don't miss anything. That gave me a whole jump scare, a whole heart attack, if you will. My goodness, the scream of the kid going into those drums, my heart skipped a beat. I am excited to uh, go back in the footage and see my face because I swear I about pooped myself. That was, uh, that was a jump scare moment. But this song really uh, went from zero to 100 real quick. The beat really came out of nowhere. At first, you're kind of put into this trance with the harmonica. The harmonica felt so isolated, felt so lonely. And then you hear school kids in the background. And then all of a sudden, you're just kind of thrown into the music. And the music sounds really, really good. I'm enjoying the music so far, but wow. Ooh, this composition, man, I like need to calm down a little bit. My heart is still racing a little bit. That actually really made my uh, heart rate go up. Okay, let's keep going. Okay.
Lots of interesting instruments in this. I'm going to pause one last time before we end the song. I will go back 20 seconds because it seems like, you know, this is the last portion of the song. I was just thinking that this song is very unpredictable. I was thinking that when I was listening to that piano portion and once this other section just popped up, it just, again, proved my uh, thoughts of unpredictability. This is quite the composition. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster ride. This is taking me to so many different places. I, I don't even know. I really, really enjoyed that piano part though. That was probably my favorite. The piano and the bass, man, that sounded so good together. I'm really excited to see where they take this song at the end though. So let's keep going. Like what? My God. Coming along. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I just listened to uh, 10 different songs in one. Wow, the transition from section to section in the song is unbelievable. That just took me on a wild ride. You got the harmonica and then you had the piano. Just so many different things in this song. My brain couldn't keep up with the transition and what was happening because I don't know. It just was really unexpected. Everything was so unexpected, especially at the beginning when you're so entranced with the harmonica and then they kind of just wake you up and then you're like, oh, we're actually uh, not in a trance anymore. This was so interesting to listen to. I really liked it. And the instrumentals in the song were incredible. The bass and the piano were probably my favorite parts in this song. I really, really enjoyed it. I just, I don't know, this was such a journey. I didn't know what to expect with Super Tramp, but 
hey, I'm very curious to listen to more of their music, that's for sure. They seem so innovative, so artistic, and not afraid to take risks just from this one song. I could be totally wrong, but that's what my instincts are kind of telling me right here. So this was fun. I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Wow, what a ride this song was. I am just so thoroughly impressed with this composition. It was so dynamic. It was so alive. It was so exciting. And I was on the edge of my seat wondering what was going to happen next. I was thinking in the middle of listening to that whole song, wow, this is so unpredictable. I have no idea where this is going to go. And when I thought the transitions were going to stop and when I thought the song was gonna become consistent with its sound, there was another transition. Oh, and then there was another one and then another one. And the song just continued to change its tune, its sound, its its rhythm, everything. It's so, it, it was really wild to me, but I had so much fun with it. And I feel like it's a song I'm definitely going to want to listen to again to really absorb it all. The part that stuck out the most to me, like I said earlier, was the part with the piano. That was so unexpected, but so unbelievably beautiful. I really, really love that piano. And then the bass in combination with the piano was really gorgeous. The song started off with that harmonica. And like I said earlier, I actually thought I peed my pants a little bit, man. That, that, that was a total jump scare at the beginning when we transitioned from the harmonica to those loud drums and you hear the kids scream it. I was like, oh my God, I I just peed myself for sure. <laughs> One thing I know for sure is with this song is that I am definitely curious to listen to some more Super Tramp and see what else they have in store for me. Like they were really fun to listen to. And again, exciting and unpredictable. I can only imagine what their uh, other works are. I feel like first impressions, they give me a vibe of they can do anything. <laughs> no two songs sound the same with Super Tramp. They seem very innovative, very much not afraid to try new things out. You can hear that with the piano. You can hear that with the harmonica. It's just really cool. You can hear it in the transitions and what they decide to include into a song. It's just, wow, I, I just feel like they are very, very interesting musicians and artists. and. Automatically, I'm very curious to hear more. To me, this song sounds innovative. It sounds ahead of its time. It sounds just so good and so well produced. Like I could just tell right off the bat, these are killer musicians with killer skills and they just know how to put a dang song together, man. This was again, just so interesting to listen to, but because it was so interesting to listen to, I know that these, group of men are very talented phenomenal people and i'm not gonna lie growing up i've heard of bands like the beatles the rolling stones pink floyd even did i grow up listening to their songs not one bit but super tramp has never been on my radar before i've never heard of super tramp before so a lot of you guys in the comments have been recommending them so i'm really excited to finally get to listen to them and I get an air that they are sort of underrated, sort of under the radar sort of band. Um, but hey, they are talented. And I am, again, very curious to hear more of their music. And I don't know if this is controversial to say, but the song, in a way, kind of reminded me of Pink Floyd. And I really got that because of the slow intro. I have said this so many times with Pink Floyd, but Pink Floyd forces you to be patient and a lot of their songs have really long slow intros and then they come in with a sort of a jump scare boom and start playing you know the song with a beat and a rhythm and we get to the chorus and all of that this very much reminded me of that but there were so many transitions in the song and again it sounded like i was listening to 10 different songs in one with this uh, but I did get an air of Pink Floyd with the different instruments, the slow intro, the beat, and all of that. And again, don't yell at me if that is a very controversial opinion or just a hot take. But that's just what I felt. I, this song reminded me of Pink Floyd, honestly. And as I look at the lyrics of the song, it's definitely a song talking about how schools nowadays are basically churning out people to be a certain citizen, to be a certain type of person. 
and school doesn't really allow children or students to embrace their personality or embrace their strengths. It just teaches you how to be a particular part of society. I'm not exactly sure when this song came out, but I can definitely say that this is a timeless song just by looking at the lyrics. It's a song that will always be relevant. It's a song that will stand the test of time and it's a very important topic and very relatable to so many people it says don't do this and don't do that what are they trying to do make a good boy out of you do they know where it's at don't criticize their old and why do as they tell you to they'll tell you not to hang around and learn what life's about and grow up just like them won't let you work it out and you're full of doubt just yeah, very relatable song, very good lyrics with a very good composition and music to go with it. Again, very relatable topic. Schools are known to teach people how to function in society and to be a particular person in society, but not how to be themselves, how to uh, look inside themselves and be their own individual person and their own individual personality. Schools can suppress that and Super Tramp does a very good job at talking about this topic and singing about it while making a catchy tune and a very unpredictable song. Overall, I really like the song. I really like the composition. The instrumentals kind of just took the cake for me. I really enjoyed the composition itself and how unpredictable it was. It, again, it reminded me of Pink Floyd a bit, and I just enjoy this formula so much. It takes you on such a ride and it makes you invested. Do I want to listen to Super Tramp again? Of course I do. This was a great first impression and I'm already sucked in. So I think that would do for today's reaction. Thank you all again so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps growing content creators like me. If you guys are interested in some of my other content or wish to support me in alternative ways, please be sure to check out the links in the description box. If you guys are interested in seeing me live on Twitch, I'm live right now at twitch.tv slash stacyrpg where you can see moments like this so when we have him <laughs> see this is good right the link to my twitch is also in the description box and last but not least i want to give a huge shout out to my patrons thank you patrons so much for your contributions to my channel you guys are the best and i appreciate you all so 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 much thank you thank you thank you for all you do for me and my channel and if you wish to become a patreon member yourself please be sure to check out the patreon link in the description box if you have any say on what i should react to next please be sure to sound off in the comments or join the discord i'm in the discord every single day chatting with you guys and getting to know you guys on a deeper level so join the discord if you are so inclined. Thank you all again for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.